Hi, my name is Meng. I'm from Design Plus Code, and we're at the ninth section of the Webflow course. This is what we're going to build today. It's a start animation. As you can see, when I start and when the page is loaded, it shows this very cool intro animation. So let's go to our Webflow project. We're going to go to Interactions. We're going to create a new page trigger, click on a plus sign, and select Page Load. You can start the animation as soon as the page starts loading or after, after all the resources have been loaded. In this case, we're going to select the first one. So when page starts loading, starts an animation, create a new time animation. We're going to call this one Start. Then we're going to go to the Hero section, find the container and the content block. And for each of these items, we're going to create a new time action for opacity. So here, I'm going to do the same for purchase, opacity, text, opacity, button, opacity, and then the div block for the logos, opacity as well. We're just missing one, which is a tabs container. We're going to create opacity as well. Now this is our initial state. And what we need to do is to select all of these elements at the same time, and then set the opacity to zero. Then we're going to enable set as initial state. Like this, the page is now going to start with a full opacity even before the animation kicks in. Let's do the end state. We're gonna select all of them at the same time, do duplicate, and then set the opacity to 100%. Now for each of them, we're gonna set the timing, starting with the heading, which already has after previous action. So there's two types, after or with, after means that it's going to wait for the last animation to complete first. And with means that it can start or finish at the same time. So the first one is fine. I'm going to click on purchase. And this is where I'm going to set the delay to 0.1. And for the text, 0.2. For the button, 0.3. Div block, 0.4 tabs container 0.5. When you do a start animation like this that has delays for each of them, I would definitely suggest to have the correct order for your layers. So starting with H1 and purchase, text button, div block, and tabs container. Now it's going to make sense. And if I preview this, it does this very nice transition at the beginning. For opacity, you don't really need to get fancy with the easing because it's something that is usually very linear and it lasts 0.5 seconds. If you want to make it slower, you can set it to 0.8 or 1 second. Typically, uh, somewhere between 0.3 and 0.8 is ideal. So definitely feel free to experiment with your own timing. Next, we're going to set the move. So we're going to do exactly the same thing starting with the heading and I don't need to select from here, I can select from the right side instead and click to transform move. Then do the same for the rest of the layers. So purchase, move, text, move, button, move, div block, move, then tabs container, and uh, make sure to scroll back up, click on plus, and then move. Now, this one created a after, so I'm just going to drag it back to be uh, with at the same time so that all of this is set as initial state. All I need to do at this point is just to select all of the move animations and set the Y to minus 20. So it's going to apply to all of them at the same time. What this means is that it's going to move by 20 pixel up before the animation is even starting. And then when we do the animation, it's going to place where 
the original positions are. With all of these selected, I'm going to duplicate again, and it's going to create another block of elements, and I'm going to move each of them to the exact same spot as the opacity animation. So heading with heading, tabs with tabs container, and notice that the order is kind of confusing at the beginning, so definitely just match the names. So div with div, button with button, text with text, and then purchase with purchase. Once that's done, you should have all of these names coupled, one for opacity and one for move. Then it's important to select each one of them one by one for the move and set to zero in terms of Y position. So we're resetting that Y position. So I'm gonna do the same for purchase. We can't do all of them at the same time, otherwise it's also going to apply for delay and duration, and it's going to mess up our timeline. So now we're at purchase, set to zero, and text, set to zero, button, zero, div block, zero, tabs container, zero. Now we can preview this, and you can see that not only does it apply the opacity, but it also applies the move. Another really cool technique that I did for this one is to set different duration for each of these move animation. Starting with heading, I'm going to make it slower. So the first layers is going to be slower, and then faster at the end. So you're gonna see that it's going to create a very cool effect. Here, for the first one, I'm gonna to set to 0.8 for heading. For purchase, 0.7. Text, 0.6. Button is fine, so 0.5. Div block, 0.4. Tabs container, 0.3. Let's preview the transition and now it looks really good. The other thing you can do is definitely to play with the easing. And this is not part of the official plan, but we can select all of the move ones and change the easing. Let's say to bounce, for example. And you can actually preview the animation right from here by clicking on the play button. And you can see that it's bouncing a little bit. You can have different ones, such as ease in, is out, ease in out. Those are the main ones that most people are going to use, such as ease in out. So definitely play with these settings to create the perfect animation for your website. This is what we have so far, and we're going to publish it. And voila, we have a great intro for our website. Awesome. Now we can learn about Lottie animations, which is something that is completely new as a feature in Webflow. It's going to allow you to create amazing animations with animated assets created by libraries such as Shape or LottieFiles.com or something created in After Effects from scratch. So I'm excited to teach you this stuff in the next session. See you there.